morning. Good morning. Can you all hear me way back there? All right. Good. Good. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let, Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We couldn't have picked a better day than today. It is it is extremely beautiful. Thank you, God. And um, I wasn't going to be able to be here because we have coronavirus in my family. And uh, my test hadn't come back yet, but it came back late yesterday. So I am negative for coronavirus today. <laughs> so um, I'm really, really happy to be here today. There are VBS, Vacation Bible School registrations up here, and some uh, bulletins from uh, a couple different churches, a couple different Reformed churches, I believe, that if you want one of those, and a bucket for um, a community project that hasn't been chosen yet, and you can put your offering in there if you'd like. Uh, let's see, what else? Very well, I'll just turn on the mic. Okay, so um, we are so fortunate today to have this group with us, the men of faith, who are going to bring us God's word in a sermon with music. And um, I'm pretty excited to hear them. They are, they are wonderful. <laughs> and Dave is the boss, I understand. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him introduce everybody when it comes their turn. Okay. Is he boss? Yeah. All right. So we're going to begin. Um, there will be not, there will not be any responses from you. It'll just all come from me. So you can just uh, sit uh, quietly and um, listen. In the name of God, the Creator, Jesus, our Savior, and the Holy Spirit, our Comforter, we come together to offer our worship and praise. Gladly, God, we praise you forever. May the words we hear in song become the thought of our hearts. Through your Holy Spirit, renew our own spirits by the words that we hear. Come, O oh God, and give us fresh insight into our love in Christ Jesus. We sing your praise, O oh God. May our songs remind us that you are a God of mercy and that no sin no sin is beyond your forgiveness. We sing your praise, O oh God. May our songs remind us that you are a God of the season, of beauty and holiness. We give you thanks for poets, composers, singers, instrumentalists, who join their creativity to bring life to your goodness through word and music. We sing your praise, O oh God. May our songs remind us that you are a God of all the saints that have gone before us and all of the saints with us today. We remember especially the faithful who, having made music on earth, now sing their praises in your presence. We sing our praise to you, O oh God. May our songs remind us that you are a God who is worthy of all our praise. Hear us now, O oh God, as we sing your praises. Amen. Let us pray again the prayer of the day. O oh God, we praise you and we make a joyful noise to you and all the earth. We break forth into joyous song and sing praises. We give you thanks for planting in us the seed of your word through music. By your Holy Spirit, help us to receive receive it this day with joy, live according to it, and grow in faith and hope and love. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. I have a scripture reading, and it's from uh, Psalm 96. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless the Lord's name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered among all above all gods. 
For all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him, all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the people with equity. Let the heart, heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the fields exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world, though with righteousness, and the people with his truth. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. I'll say. <coughs> Some of you were there. It was it was packed, and uh, it was, and we talked one time. It's probably one of the proudest moments of our lives was singing that concert and singing with those guys. But about uh, five six years ago, uh, we got some guys together. And we said, hey, let's just get together again. And start and you know do a sing. Well, um, we do about eight nine. We haven't really sang since the holiday season because of this pandemic, but. Uh, we enjoy singing, and uh, amongst us, singing together, there's about 150 years of us six guys singing together, so, um, and we enjoy it. So at this time, I'll just introduce us real quick. Um, the leader, without her, you wouldn't want to sing an acapella. So, <laughs> um, so Mrs. Sandy Sims from Holland, Mr. Tom Sims from Holland, none other than your local hero, Mr. Alden Harms from Wellsburg, Mr. Jim Tripp from Wellsburg, or uh, Rhinebeck, <laughs> Mr. Travis Griesman from Holland, Mr. Chuck Moody from Grundy Center, I'm Dave Busco, I live in Lincoln. So, uh, 
Our next song is entitled, I Can't Even Walk. And without God and without Jesus, it would be difficult for us to walk. So listen to the words. As we sing today, listen to our words that we sing. And uh, sometimes we get, we get emotional and singing these songs. And uh, it really touches us. And hopefully we can touch one of you today. So listen out as we sing, I Can't Even Walk. entitled Step Into the Water, and uh, here about three weeks ago, there was a lot of rain down in our area. Someone said we had 11, 12 inches of rain. Well, my basement at my shop, I came down on Monday morning, there's a foot and a half of water. Worked all day in back, getting that squared away. Had my sump pump at home, that was running. Well, I got home at six, and guess what? My sump pump came un unhooked and I have water in my basement at home. Henceforth, I had to remove my carpet for the third time in the last 10 years. So guess what? I'm not putting carpet back in my basement. <laughs> but anyway, I just thought, step into the water, and uh, you know, stepping into the water, you know, it's about Jesus being baptized, and us stepping into that water, and accepting, and accepting Christ as our Lord and Savior. So listen now as we sing, Step Into the Water. Step into the water, wait out a little bit deeper, wet your feet in the water of his love. Thank 
He said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, and what's the definition of joyful? So, Yay, early. Amen. So, uh, right now, this is one, uh, this is a special time, and I would like to congratulate the community of Wellsburg. I, I go to a lot of veterans' uh, memorials, and I'll tell you what, this is one of the neatest veterans' memorials I have seen. It has, it has done well, it was done well. It's in the middle of the town. I, I think it's uh, amazing. The picture, Eldon and I were talking about the pictures on the back of these stones. I know they cost some uh, money, but you know what? It's something that will be here for as long as any of us are here. At this time, we are gonna do the Armed Forces Medley. And you know, on the Memorial Day concert in Washington, they always do the Armed Forces Medley. So when we do this medley, it's the Army, Air Force, Coast Guard, I'm going to announce, and when you do, I would like, if you are a veteran of that service branch, we would like you to rise and salute. Because you know what? Without our veterans, we would not be sitting here today enjoying this. And I sincerely believe that, because without you veterans, and the uh, elders are only veteran in the group, but uh, do we have any World War II veterans here? I know there's probably not very many up there yet. Okay, but it's, uh, yeah, that, uh, and you, I, I won't get, I, I'll get emotional if I talk much more about that, but uh, anyway, as we sing this, please rise if you are a veteran, and salute. I know the flag will probably be behind you. But, and if you want to sing along with us, please join with us. So listen now as we do our rendition of the Armed Forces Medley.
you guys. And I mean that sincerely. Um, I've known Harvard for quite a few years. He's in the Coast Region Society with me. And quite a few times we'll sit about, sit around and talk and he'll tell me some, some more stories and stuff. So I appreciate that. take a short delay here while the uh, I, I won't say anything about those machines going by on a beautiful Sunday morning, but uh, <laughs> some of you people out here, if that would have happened years ago, 40, 50 years ago, it would have been, it was a big thing. So, I always remember one time when mom and dad moved from Holland down to Lincoln, and uh, a tractor went by on a Sunday afternoon. And dad goes, oh my gosh, I've seen it. Well, tractor's going by on a Sunday afternoon. And he says, I wonder where that's going. And he says, he looked, and we just lived on North Edge of Lincoln there. And he said, well, it's pulling in on that street. I wonder where they're going. He pulled into the second house there in the den. He says, oh my gosh, they're going to plow the garden for the minister. He says, I've seen everything now. <laughs> so, every time I think of that, I think about that. So, and, and we've all done stuff on Sunday, but you know what? It's Sunday mornings and Sundays. That's the Lord's Day. I hope we can still keep it. So. Right now, we're going to sing one of our favorite songs through the ages. That's one we sing with the chorus. And it's called The Jesus Medley. And it's a beautiful, beautiful um, medley.
Chuck and I held him during that song, and I'll tell you what, Chuck and I had a hard time with our emotions because that was important to Bobby, and uh, we miss Bobby, and then, you know, he'd always say, hey, buddy, you know, and uh, God bless you, Bobby, you're singing with us today. The song we're going to sing now is called, I'll Fly Away. Sunday morning, where you look up, there's this moon, 
there's the sun, everything. You know, through this pandemic, I think we've gotten back to where we could appreciate the sun, the moon, the stars, and everything. We're not going to all the activities. And Lord, I, I'm busy enough, you know. I, I've coached for 30 some years, you know. And I'm used to going to ball games, officiating, and doing stuff like that. But you know what? It's sort of been nice just to sit back, relax, visit with your neighbors. You know, we don't do that. That box that sits in front of our, in our living room, occupies us. So much of the time, we have forgotten, you know, what, what life is really about. You know, Abraham Lincoln said, we have grown in wealth, power, and numbers like any other nation. But we have forgotten God. And in this pandemic, we, we sort of have, but we need to remember that. And when this pandemic is over, I hope we realize what we have and that people will get back to the basics. Get back to your local churches because that's, that's the foundation of our lives. It isn't our material things. It's what we have. It's what God gives us. So right now, we're going to sing about a song calling, I Won't Turn Back. vitamin D too. <laughs> Our next song is entitled No Other Friend. And it's one we've sang through the years. I'm sure Chuck is one of the first ones you might have sang back to Tom. Tom and Chuck were the two of the original members of the Interfaith Men's Chorus back when they gave a concert. Back when he was a little boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We don't want to remember Tom as a little boy. He's on right now, <laughs> let alone years ago. <laughs> if you know Tom Sims well enough like we do. 
<laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, Tom and Chuck were, and they sang with eight guys at the, at the gazebo or something, or somewhere in Grundy. First press, I think they gave their first one in a few of the years, and, and like I said, it was, it was what me did. You know, we went all over. We went up to Dakotas, Minnesota. We even got stranded up in, in Mason City in that one storm. We were there two days in Mason City. It was snowing all the way south. We were going everywhere in the bus. Eddie Schoolman drove the charter. And we were all over Mason City, but we couldn't get anywhere farther south. We were there two days. And, and we were singing one night in the hotel. And, uh, you know, like we do. And we had some complaints. They go, guys, you're going to have to stop. We've had complaints that you're getting too rowdy. So we changed our name to the... Roddy Christian, no, Roddy Christian Men's Course. <laughs> but, uh, and all through the years, a lot of fun. And uh, the song we're going to sing now is called, entitled, No Other Friend. There is no other friend like Jesus. And the third verse of this song was written by Whitey Ross. Ross or Whitey never sang with, with a chorus, but uh, he sang a lot with his brother in, in a group. And... Uh, he, he wrote that third verse. So listen to that third verse, and I'll just put the third, because it has a lot of meaning. So listen now as we sing, No Other Friend.
You know, we've enjoyed singing this morning. Like I said, what a beautiful morning. We couldn't ask for a more beautiful day, I really believe. I think one time we sang here, it was what, 40 degrees or something like that? It was yeah. cold. It was very, very cold. So uh, our next song we're going to do, and we're going to ask you to rise. This is one of those sacred hymns we could all sing. It deals with our country. And God bless in America. As I stated earlier, without our veterans, we wouldn't be here. We are so fortunate in this country that we can worship as we want and we can take care of that flag. There's a lot of turmoil going on in this country today. We have protests. Protests are fine, but let's not get carried away. We've got an election coming up. The good thing about this pandemic is that the uh, candidates aren't out campaigning. That's sort of nice. <laughs> so, but it's, it, you know, and campaigns always turn ugly. Whatever side you're on, remember to exercise your vote and be civil about it. You know, we got a great country. Whoever our leader is, respect the position in which he holds. It doesn't matter who it is. Respect the position in which he or she holds. Sorry. So I'm going to ask you to rise if you're able. We used to do this by holding hands with the pandemic. We, we won't do that. But we're going to sing God Bless America as our final song, and then we're going to close with, uh, with another one. But if you would rise, and we're going to sing, there's the first verse, and then we'll sing it once through the, the chorus. And on the second time, we're going to ask you to join with us. And you know what? Let's let the whole town of Wellsburg hear us, you know? If you're off key, God doesn't care. But let it hurt, let it be heard. So, and uh, before I, uh, I would, uh, Tony Hogan, now, uh, you guys don't know Tony Hogan, but you do know her as Tony Niederhoff. Tony grew up with me in Lincoln, and Tony and I have a, have a lot, all the memories. And, uh, sorry. Tony lost her brother John, who was a good friend this past week. And uh, I hope you be with Tony and her family. And uh, Tony's house was in the middle of the town. And everybody congregated there. And uh, yeah, flag of members. So uh, listen now as we sing God Bless America.
hope you have enjoyed our presentation and music this morning. It says where one or two are gathered, we shall worship. There's more than two here today. We hope that if we reached one of you today and you became closer to your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as Red Skelton would always say, our mission has been fulfilled. I always mention Red Skelton because I think Red Skelton was one of the greatest Americans of the past century. You know, he wrote the uh, that Pledge of Allegiance, the meaning of the pledge, and uh, it's tremendous. You know, we've lost a lot of our old view. My other one was Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers was a true American and a good Christian man. And, and if you ever have a chance to read the book, The Cowboy and the Senorita, I, I encourage you. What a true man. And I, I, I was privileged to, to uh, see him in concert at McElroy back in the mid 70s. Highlight of best concert I ever went to, and I went to other Spock concerts too. But uh, you know, we've lost a lot of our American heroes. And so I, I hope we can get back to where we can follow a true American God fearing hero. So listen now, we're going to do our parting course as we go. And we have enjoyed this immensely today. And uh, we will see you down the road. And uh, I see some of you quite often. But uh, thank you again for having us. And uh, enjoy your Sunday afternoon, wherever you may be. And uh, enjoy the beautiful day. So thank you. Jesus, who taught us to call on you, our Father in heaven. We claim us, you claim us as your children and extend to us your endless grace and love. Make our lives a reflection of your love that others may see you in us and proclaim, hallowed be your name. Empower us, Lord, and make us eager to love and serve all of your people, feeding the hungry, caring for the sick, providing shelter for the homeless and comfort for the distressed. And all that we do and say, help us to make your kingdom come, your will be done. In our lives and in our ministries, help us to build upon the work of all who have served in your name. 
Help us to put an end to violence, hate, and war, and to live in your peace here, on earth, as it is in heaven. You know all that we need before we ask it. We ask for your help as we care for all those in this world who need food and water and shelter and clothing, medical care, or daily work. To us and all creatures, give us this day our daily bread. And when we are stubborn and slow to listen to you, when our words and our actions, our prejudices, our selfishness, neglect, hurt any of your children in this world, forgive us our sins. You offer us undeserved grace, and by your mercy enable us to be agents of grace and peace in this world, as we forgive those who sin against us. We are tempted by so many things that lead us away from you, envy and pride, desire for personal gain, Guide us on the path that leads to you and to life, and save us from the time of trial. The dangers of the world have become more evident to us during these difficult days. Help us to also examine our own lives and our own actions. As we care for ourselves and for our neighbors, from within and without. Deliver us from evil. You are the God who created us. You are the Savior who redeems us. You are the Spirit who blesses us, guides us, and keeps us. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. And we praise, thank, and serve you now and forever. Amen. May God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine, grant us the gift today of faith and hope. And the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Before I dismiss you, I'm Pastor Victoria Shepherd. I forgot to tell you that, but most of you probably already know that. So go in peace and make a joyful noise.